Hello my crafty friends. Today it is the 28th of the month and I'm here to share my cards for the Use It Up collaboration with Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. I just went ahead and scrounged through my scrap drawer. I have two big scrap drawers, one for regular um, non-Christmas papers and then a big one for Christmas papers. And I also have a basket full of die cuts that I rated, and that's what the, my cards are today. So here's my first one. The paper's from Bow Bunny. The mint macaron ribbon is from Stampin' Up. The sentiment is Tim Holtz. And the paper's mint macaron also. And then this little flower is from Recollections. And then this one, I don't know if you recognize, but this is from the birthday cards I made with uh, Call Me Crafty Owl's latest sketch. And the birthday paper is from Stampin' Up. And then I added some Nouveau Drops. And then this is from my 3 and 30 alphabet challenge that I did a little bit last year. I just cut it down, put it on a card. I think it'll make a cute anniversary card. And then here, um, I had these die cuts in my, in my stash. And the paper is from Stampin' Up! And the sunflower, like I said, um, it's from a Hero Arts kit. I think it's October 2017, September or October. No, September, that's correct. And then I just did some, um, I had Marina Mist re -inker, and I just did the background here. And then I had a little bird die. Thinking of you. And I forgot where the paper's from, but it was in my scrap drawer. And then this one. These papers are from a set that I've had for a long time. And then the butterfly is cut out. Um, I used butterfly paper, botanical butterflies, I think is the paper from Stampin' Up! And then the butterfly punch. And then this I had in my stash, wishing you well. I just got this stamp set. I cannot remember where it's from. And then the inside, I used a, another butterfly. And then this is some Valentine's Day stuff I had in my stash, some paper. This is from a Crafty Ola kit. And this is just a die cut. And then one of the little a little um, pink bow. I think I got a Daiso maybe. And then I had this in my stash. And then here's, this is actually the piece of the front of the, um, not Craft 45. The, it's Love Notes, but I can't remember the make, the guy who, Graphic, Graphic 45. So I just used the front of the, the paper pad. And then this is one of the embellishments I made last month. And I haven't done anything to the inside. Again, this is paper from that, that set that I've had forever. And I decided I had a couple of sympathy uh, sentiments, so I wanted to do a sympathy card. And then this one I kind of messed up a little bit on, but hopefully it's not going to be too noticeable. These were in my stash. And the Nouveau Drops, Red Berry Nouveau Drops. And then here's another one with this same paper. And the, um, this was a, a 
part of a set of cutouts in that paper pad. So I, I cut that out. And then again, this is one of the embellishments I made last month. And this was in my stash. And then this is mermaid paper that I bought. I, I Is it from Graphic 45? It's a vintage set. It was really cute. I bought it to make my mom's scrapbook pages. And then this was, I had it in my die cut stash. This is from Hero Arts. This is a fancy die that went along with the March, May, May 2017 kit. And this is a saying out of that paper pad. Then the inside I decorated. I just had stuff in my stash. And then last but not least, this is the Bow Bunny paper. <clears throat> this is a butterfly I had in my stash. And this is the Spring Bouquet set from Avery L. I just got the die um, about a week or so ago. And so I die cut out colored with my alcohol markers and cut this out and then this this red piece was in my stash okay these are all the cards I made I didn't make a huge dent in my stash but I got a good start so thank you Beth for doing this and encouraging us to use our stash so oh, I will see you at the next video. Stay safe, stay well, and thank you. Bye-bye.